What are magnets? A magnet is something that can attract certain metals. It has an invisible force that pulls the metals to itself. This force is called magnetism. Magnets have many uses. They can stick things on, hold things together, and make machines work. Do your cabinets have magnets that hold the doors shut? Do you have speakers in your home? These are made with magnets, too. Do you have a fan in your home? Electric fans use magnets to make the blades turn around. Did you know that almost every machine in your house has magnets in it? Let's explore the world of magnets. Now, where do we get magnets from? Some rocks are natural magnets. Here's a story about magnets. Long ago, a boy in ancient Greece walked across a big rock. But as he walked across the rock, it pulled the nails right out of his shoes. His shoes fell apart, and the nails stuck to the rock. We don't know if this story is true or not. But we do know that the word magnet comes from the name of a place, Magnesia, where some of these natural magnet rocks were found. Does a magnet attract all kinds of metals? No, there are only certain metals that are attracted to a magnet. They are iron, nickel, and cobalt. These metals can become magnets. Let us now understand how do magnets work. Magnets come in different shapes. They can be bar magnets, horseshoe magnets, or ring magnets. A magnet has two ends. These are called the magnet's poles. One is called the North Pole, and the other is called the South Pole. The North Pole of a magnet attracts the South Pole of another magnet. That means it pulls the magnet toward itself. And the South Pole of a magnet attracts the North Pole of another magnet. But magnets don't just attract. They can also repel or push things away. If the north and south poles of different magnets attract each other, which poles do you think repel each other? Yes, you're correct. The poles that are the same repel each other. So a north pole would repel another north pole and a south pole would repel another south pole. Can you tell which pair of magnets will attract and which will repel? Yes, you are right. The magnets with opposite poles facing each other will attract, and the ones with similar poles facing each other will repel. The attraction and repulsion of a magnet is due to an invisible field around it called the magnetic field. You may be wondering if the strength of this magnetic field is the same everywhere in a magnet. Let's find this out by bringing a bar magnet close to some iron filings. Now observe carefully. You can see that more iron filings are attracted to the ends of the magnet, while less iron filings are attracted to its middle. 
This shows that strength of this magnetic field is more at the ends and less at its center. Let us now learn how our Earth behaves as a magnet. Have you ever seen a compass? A compass is a tool that helps people know which direction they're going in. A compass has a needle that has been turned into a magnet. You can turn something into a magnet by rubbing it with a magnet. The needle in the compass can spin. The needle spins such that when it rests, one end of the magnet points toward the north and one toward the south. This works because the Earth is like a big magnet. There is iron inside the Earth. That gives our planet its magnetic field. Do you know about the northern lights and the southern lights? They are a natural light display in the sky, almost like fireworks. They can be seen in the areas around the North and South Pole. They are caused by the Earth's magnetic fields. Sometimes the sun throws out a burst of energy. These bursts get caught in the magnetic field around the Earth. They give off some beautiful bright colors. The northern and southern lights are one of the ways we know that Earth is a big magnet. You have learned that magnets can pull through Earth's atmosphere. Can they pull through liquids such as water? Yes, they can. Can magnets pull through solids? Yes, magnets can pull through solids like paper. As we've seen, magnets are useful, powerful, and sometimes amazing. Look around you and see how many ways magnets are used. Now, let's summarize what we've learned.